Hello, Actosage here on the Sayed channel, and this is really quickly basically an amendment to my previous tutorial. If you don't exactly know what I'm doing in this, there's going to be an annotation stuck on screen pretty much the whole time. Click that, it'll take you back to the other tutorial where I go over basically modeling something for space engineers and making the collision meshes and all this and how to export all that. This is just basically how you set up the collision mesh to make it actually work correctly in game. Because if you do it the way I did, it's either not going to show up at all or it's going to be way too big. And here's how you correct that problem. Basically for its scale, you do 0 0.01, bingo, so it's itsy bitsy now, very, very small. And for rotation and X, you're going to have to do a negative 90. And do, the whole time I'm doing this, I have my pivot point, which I set by holding D and X, set to the 0, 0, 0 point of the whole world. So it's right there in the middle. That way when I'm shrinking and rotating it, it stays aligned with what would basically be a whole box. Anyway, there we go. We got it shrunk down. We got it rotated. Now we're going to have to do freeze and... Oh, freeze and rotation. So I've just right clicked on rotate, got another freeze and locked rotation there. I believe you can also freeze scale, but I know you don't have to. And then basically using the habit export and then basically you export it as you do in the other video I showed. If you're a little confused on how to set this all up, again, annotation, other video shows all that. The only thing that I needed to be changed from that tutorial is basically this right here where we set it up to a different scale. Again, make sure you also have the correct version of the Havoc content tools installed. If you don't have that, you're going to be a spot of bother. Anyway, let's take this. We're going to go to the tools folder. If you don't know where this is, other tutorial. Again, I went over all this. this is just a real quick pass through. I'm deleting our old model file. I'm going to generate a new one. I'm going to take this new model file and go to where I have my custom models saved. Paste that in there. And I'll just really quickly demonstrate that it works in game. Alrighty, so here we go in game. And now you can see, instead of basically having a whole collision box the same as a normal large ship block or station block, I can now walk all the way up to it, but I cannot walk through it. Okay, of course, if you twist your head at the right angle, you might clip into it a bit, but it actually looks like it's doing pretty dang well. Anyway, I hope this helps. If you're lost completely, I suggest you go back and watch my previous tutorial when I went over the basics of setting all this up and even setting and exporting your model to get it into the game. And then come back and watch this again, and it'll probably make a whole lot more sense. Anyway. Thanks so much for watching, and again, I do hope this helped.